Hello, my most wonderful and wise women. I am very happy to meet with you because today, by your many requests, I am going to touch on an important topic, the relationship with your children. If you do not have children, then refer to the relationship with your inner child, which is inside each of us. Imagine that your inner child may lack tenderness. It can be sad. Today, you will learn how to remedy this situation, to make the relationship with your children harmonious so that children listen to you despite how old they are. Maybe they are only one year old, or maybe they are already 60. After all, a child always remains a child to their mother. So, my dear, first things first. Every woman knows that children are a very big responsibility. When there appears a little miracle in the house, it is, of course, an additional responsibility for the mother. You and I, unfortunately, were not taught to bring up children. My shaman ancestors always passed down from generation to generation this ancient wisdom of how to raise a child properly. Moreover, raising a child did not start at birth, but instead precisely in the womb of the mother. When a child is in the mother's womb, the program for its spiritual, material, and physical development is already established. Can you believe it? Someone might say, how terrible, I've missed so much time. Dear, it is never too late for us to put all of our attention back on our beloved children. Again, if you do not have a child, then on your inner child. So no matter how old your child is, shamans have always said, at any age, it is possible for the relationship between mother and child to be so close that the child always feels their mother's support and that the mother is proud of her child. Today, I'm going to share a very ancient shamanistic method. Perhaps you know it and even subconsciously use it in your life. To increase energy, I have put shamanic bracelets on both wrists. I put seven bracelets on the hand that denotes male lineage and seven bracelets on the hand that denotes female lineage. Why seven? I chose this number because it is seven generations of the lineage that will help me in this magical shamanic practice. Think about it. Seven generations of lineage have a special energetic influence on the child's destiny. What our ancestors did, how they felt, how they reacted to certain situations, who they loved, who they hated, who they were friends with, and who they despised. All this puts a big imprint on the child born into the family. So now, I put on seven magical bracelets to work with each generation of the lineage. By the way, if you feel that you also want to work very deeply within your lineage, I recommend that you have bracelets for each generation of your lineage. You can order them, contact me, and I will choose for you the exact stone, shape, and color of the bracelet that will work harmoniously with your lineage. If you've noticed, I have bracelets on my right hand for my father's lineage and on my left hand for my mother's lineage, because hands are our emotions. I have strengthened our positive emotions with these bracelets because we are going to need them during practice. So, my dear, each of you knows the magical action of when a child is still small and they have done something well. The mother strokes the child and says, You're my best. You're my precious. The child feels extremely happy at this moment. But the older our children get, the less attention we pay to them. It doesn't seem important to children to be stroked on the head. And moms think that the child is already an adult. 
and that it's not proper to treat an adult like that. Darlings, I'll let you in on a secret. No matter how old your child is, no matter how old you are, we will do the following practice. If you have your child near you, go over, stroke them, and tell them the most wonderful words that you want to say. I am proud of you. You are such a talented kid. We've been expecting so much for you. Our family is proud of you. You are the hope of our lineage. We love you so much. Of course, your child may be very surprised. Why did mom suddenly start saying that to me? I'm all grown up already. Never mind that, just go on. Let love pour out from your heart about the bracelets. Even if you have at least one bracelet on your hand, it will amplify the energy of your words. The energy from the magic bracelets will amplify each word directly through your hands. Each bracelet amplifies the magic of the word by 10 times. Imagine, I have seven bracelets now, which means that the power of the magic word increases 70 times. You can use this practice for your parents too, because they didn't get enough love in their life either. Imagine how many difficult situations they have faced in their lives when they were trying to raise you and when they were earning money and wanted to give you the best. Maybe they had to sacrifice something. So go up to your parents, stroke them, and say, Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad, for giving me life. And maybe you'll remember those situations when you were very grateful to your parents, when they supported you, guided you, or inspired you. One of my students says, I didn't have a good relationship with my child, my son, for a very long time. He's 30 now, and there seemed to be no way to correct the mistakes I made. I now realize that I was wrong. I want to make things better. I picked up a special magical amulet for her, a bracelet of power. She went to her son and stroked his head. Her son was very surprised, but then he put his head up and told her, Mom, you know when you do that to me, my day is good. Everything in my life works out well. You know I come to work so happy and my boss says to me, you're the most positive employee we have. I want you to be the head of the department because I feel that through you, there's going to be a big flow of energy for all the people. Can you imagine everybody noticing how a mother's power of love affected the whole world in which her child lives? Dear, if you do not have children, or if you feel that you did not receive love, did not receive support when you were a child, or you lack support now, remember that you have a magical hand, which is your magical amulet. Stroke yourself and say, I am so good, I am so great, and you can list your merits. Maybe you got up early this morning. Say to yourself, I'm so good that I got up early today, or praise yourself for going for a job. This is so great that I have worked or danced today, or I'm just smiling to myself today. Praise yourself. You will notice your condition changing. I also want to tell you a secret. When your child falls asleep, when they pass to the world of dreams, to the subtle plane where spirits and angels are waiting for them, if they have a magic amulet, angels will surely be waiting for them, and they will support their dream.
So when your child goes to bed, be sure to stroke their head. The moment they fall asleep is the most magical time. As scientists say, the human brain enters the alpha state. This is the most magical time, when all desires and all dreams come true. At that moment, the child's brain, all of their subconscious, like a sponge, absorbs everything. Whatever you say the child will take into his life, you're a good student. You're obedient. Say it with words of love. We love you very much. We've waited so long for you. You are our pride. You are the healthiest child. You are the happiest child. And let your child go into the dream world with those words of reassurance. It is in the dream world that your every word will be amplified. Yes, dear, I know there are situations you want to protect your children from. And you ask me, how do you protect a child, especially now with the COVID virus, now that the new wave has started, or when there's a wave of terrorist attack all over the world right now? How do you protect a child? Shamans have special shamanic amulets for that. There are shamanic rituals that protect the child no matter how far away the mother is. You can't protect your child from everything. Everything. Even if you're always close by, there are cosmic laws that shamans know that can help you make your life much easier and happier. Never be afraid to ask us about anything. We are very glad to share the ancient wisdom that our ancestors possessed for several tens of thousands of years. Be happy, my dear. I'll see you soon. It is often difficult for us to cope alone, and it is so important to be in the company of understanding people. In our classes, the masters create a field of love, friendship, and mutual understanding where everyone will feel free and safe. Become a part of the field of love in our trainings and seminars.